As the crisis continues, more migrants continue to be sheltered at different facilities here in the U.S. KUSI's Dan Plant got to tour the U.S.-Mexico border with Congressman Daryl Issa today to see how our Border Patrol is handling this crisis. He joins us now live from the border with details. Dan. Yeah, a good afternoon to you. And uh, the answer to that is they're not handling it very well because they are overwhelmed down here on the border. We're at a place called Britannia Court, which happens to be one of the areas that has two layers of fencing. It has the sensors on the roads. It has the cameras. It has all kinds of fancy things. So there doesn't have to be a lot of agents on the ground right here because the fences and the system take care of it. But as you go up the fence, as you follow up the fence, you're going to find gaps, big, huge holes in this border fence which is where people are coming through in huge numbers. Now, when we went on this exclusive tour with Congressman Darrell Issa a short time ago, we did run across a couple of young girls, and I say young girls, let's take a look at this video, and it just broke our hearts, it was unbelievable. We were up about several miles in, this, in the direction that we're looking right now, and we went up into the hills, and there's this one huge gap in the fence there on both the Mexico side and on the U.S. side. And apparently the cartels are sort of posted up there and they're sending people in two at a time, four at a time, six at a time. These girls happen to be from Guatemala and they, they're 14 and 15 years old. What they told the Border Patrol was that it was a 20 day journey to get here. Some of the Border Patrol agents don't necessarily believe that because of the condition of their clothes and things like that. But we do know that every single person that comes across, whether it's this 15 year old girl or that 14 year old girl, Every single one that comes across is the product of a cartel or a smuggling organization. You know, they're calling this asylum, and in many cases it is asylum, but that word is being used in a broad sense where anybody can come in and put their hands up and say, I have a credible fear, let me in. And under the Biden policy, if you're under a certain age, you're in, and you're at the convention center, or you're going up to Long Beach. In this particular case, these young ladies said that their mom and dad were in Miami. And so apparently the script is right now that if you show up in San Diego, put your hands up and say you made the journey from Nicaragua, they're going to give her a ticket to Miami to be with her family. So there's so many different things, obviously, that are happening here. Before we go, though, I just want to show you this. Every time we come down here, we see something very interesting. And this is a makeshift ladder, one of the ladders that they use to get over the border wall fence over here. And take a look how long this is. This is like a fence post with a bunch of little metal posts that are drilled through it. And apparently it has served its purpose. It's already been used and they just dumped it on the U.S. side of the border. But this is some of the fundamental crude material that they're using to get into the U.S. And then they put their hands up and that's it. They're the custody of essentially the Biden administration. Uh, there's obviously a lot to say about this and some of the things that we saw out there, including the piles of unused fence that apparently are not going to ever be used, yet the contractors are all going to be paid anyway. All the billions of dollars that were approved by Congress are still going to go to those contractors to build the wall, even though the wall construction has stopped. There's a lot of things that we learned out here that are not being said. Uh, by anybody, quite honestly, but Congressman Darrell Issa wanted to make sure he shined the light on a variety of things, including the 38 gaps in the wall right now that are just being used basically as an open door for people to come in. Uh, we'll have much more for you coming up today at 4 o'clock, uh, but what an eye-opener it was here today, right here on our own border here in San Diego. We'll see you at 4. Wow, Dan, really looking forward to your report coming up in less than an hour right here on KUSI. Thank you. And for more local news 24-7, visit our website at KUSI.com.